Hello viewers, me and team here. Welcome to episode 2 of Let's Play Civ 4 with Mance and Musa. This is just the Immortal University game, so we're going to it. And yeah, I probably want to save my trade of aesthetics for monarchy next. That'll give me hereditary rule, which is going to be welcome because several rulers here like it. Anyway, I'm going to I better get down there and improve that. In the last episode, we discovered that Montezuma is gearing up for a war, and it's almost certainly Vicky, so less concern than usual there. But not no concern. Also, I, I got another source of happiness, so <laughs> just in time, I guess. Oh, yeah, the gold. Excellent. So now Timbuktu can grow yet again. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon yep, you. Yep, French culture press. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Oddly enough, this has not been finished yet. Um, I mean, Confucianism hasn't been founded yet. That's a little strange to me, but I can definitely live with that. Apparently Montezuma settled off coast somewhere. It won't be much because it's Pangaea, but it's still worth noting. Okay, so... A little bit of a strange map. I almost do have north-south blockage here. Not that I really want it. Still doing all right there, but okay. Yeah, we're just gonna use these things to control our tiles here. And I'm just hoping that someone near me doesn't get Sistine Chapel, because if that happens, they're gonna have to die. It's just that simple. And yeah, look at that. Kathy's wasting no time trying to steal some tiles off of me, so... Aw, oh, man. I kind of screwed up my scouting there. I'm going to be a little bit slower. Because you cannot cross the rivers without construction, without losing your movements. I mean, I guess I could have swapped into slavery and whip it, but no, no, because I'm, I'm getting this already anyway, so it's fine. No, I don't want to trade that. I'm going to trade this. But maybe, well... Let's trade it to one culture whore or the other, or maybe I can just uh, be able to deal with Alex with butt chin. A Thank you, butt chin. Is, not a good thing. is Kathy planning war? No, ruler. she's pleased. All right. Certainly, that's uh, helpful to me. There's a road there. Oh, it looks like I'm out of roads for Montezuma's land. But yeah, that gives you a pretty good picture of their territory right from go. And I actually will invest in a temple since they're cheap for me. And, ah, yeah, Statue of Zeus would be very welcome there. We'll just go ahead and make the swap. What's next best for me? Probably currency. Or, um, calendar's a pretty big draw, too. Has anyone... Oh, one each is researched. But current uh, calendar's often restricted by the wonders that you get for it. Whereas currency is often, well... It's tradable. Maybe I should go calendar first. If nothing else, it'll give me another happy cat point. And some resources to be traded. And predictably, Montezuma does pull off the war declaration, so there you go. Saw that one coming. Louis getting up there in score now. But okay. How about Alex? I'm surprised he isn't looking for a war target soon, and he might actually be the bigger threat to me, I don't know. Or, uh, one of the bigger threats, anyway. Bigger relative to what? Relative to Montezuma. Or, uh, one of the other AIs on my east. Um... A little bit nervous about putting my worker there, even though I know the barb code will frequently not attack you there. Um... Can we at least... You know what? Whatever. That's fine. We're going to go ahead and chop into the Statue of Zeus. Maybe I'll get lucky and get it. And all, it's not the best wonder in the world using ivory to boost and get it. And uh, put a wonder against Mr. Industrious Culture Whore. That could help me. It certainly could. So there's a use for Statue of Zeus. That's a little bit unconventional, although certainly nothing new to the Sif Fanatics forum goers. And, uh, okay, the Chinese got that city. And unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to snag it back anytime soon. Please work hammers. If he makes a request like that, 
It's fine, I'll just give it to him. Maybe if he demanded like a key military tech, I might refuse, but if he's just gonna demand something like that, yeah, that's that's fine with me. He can have it. So we'll get the growth on. Could build Paya. Could build Paya like here, just to be a jerk. And now I can safely grab the wheat. And I probably will need something like Paya to hold on to the wheat, actually. And yeah, I knew it was gonna happen. And she'll get pissy if I refuse her. Whereas the Vicky will probably get pissy if I don't. But Vicky's already at war, so we're just going to do that. And is she plotting war? Not just yet. Unfortunately. We actually have quite a few. Mao is plotting war. Who does Mao dislike? Please, 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 please. Annoyed. Okay. Well, we're going to have a dog pile then. But it's looking more and more like I should get into Judaism and shore up one of my borders. So, Plus, it's already in five of my six cities, so why not? It's a happy boost as well. And since I'm crossing a river, I'll just do that. Yeah, look at all that scouting information. We're still on the BCs. So nice. So nice to do that. Um, yeah, I can get away with a whip here. I'm just going to whip off some. Well... Let's uh, work mostly production in my production cities, which is most of my cities, honestly. It's like every non-capital city is a hammer city in my eyes. You know, whatever. <laughs> Need more cottages in the capital soon. Capital's gonna be my research center, baby. Yeah, you know what, just for completeness. Oh, I can't see in there any longer. I closed borders with her. Okay, whatever. No big loss. We're just gonna scout around a bit more. Use my scout on China and finish up with Russia. Then I'll just auto them and they'll run around through French territory for a little bit and that'll be that. Could go for Great Library, but... I'm not uh, industrious and I don't have marble, so... Not the most important thing. I got beaten to Statue of Zeus. Who got it? Who got that thing? England. Uh, what's which city? Which city? London. Um, that won't press me too much culturally. So it's annoying that I missed out on it because I can't culture press France with it and be annoying now. But it's not a big deal. It's not gonna cause me grief actively. So, I have that much going for me, too. We'll just go with these things, then. Chop. Cottage. And... Go. Oh, well, she's willing to trade calendar, so why don't we do it? Get okay, what we can. For everything, there is a season and organized religion time actually time isn't bad for me right now. I'm, well... Considering, not at all similar are the race of the immortal. I have invested fairly heavily into Judaism. Well, uh, the AI has invested fairly heavy into Judaism friends, for me, and that's going to allow me to take advantage of the production bonuses. So I might as well do it. <laughs> Certainly. Whip that unimproved tile. Whip it good. And we'll just automate there. You go up there. Granary next. Well, I'm being semi out teched but like I said, as long as I don't die, I should be a fine. I am the Lord thy God. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. And uh, China's land is actually a bit inflated. I was worried about China, but um, a lot of this is tundra hell and crap like that, so not as big a deal. Currency next, definitely, for the instant trade route boost. I'm getting a lot of trade routes, considering that I have foreign trade routes with, like, everybody. Well, except Vicky. Does she hate me yet? 
now, surprisingly. But okay. Get our calendar resources hooked up. That's shift and P, but I was too lazy to move my hand over there. <laughs> I know. I know, I'm being lazy. That's fine. I'm really not seeing a lot of incentive to worry about too much other than straight growing my capital, considering I'm going to be relying on it for virtually all my research. Could try for the Paya. I have the resource. Why not? We'll try for the Paya. If I get it, great. If not, fail gold. And then I think it's time to start building some skirmishers for defense. They're an excellent unit. And all right, build roads there for consistency with movement. And I'll just go ahead and chop into it too. <laughs> so much Judaism spread. Um, can I trade for a marble? No, I could trade for spices. Is there anything I have multiples of? He has iron. You know what? Fine. <laughs> if you get Colossus, it won't bother me much. You can have the copper for now. And Butchin has currency, and I've invested into it, so he'll probably be willing to trade it. Yeah. Everything is worth Instant lift. The will pay for it. So, looking pretty good here, actually. You can have him at pleased. He's willing to declare war on people now. Probably have Mao at pleased, despite border tension. Yeah. So, pretty solid here. No, I don't think so. I'm not going to help you fight the English. Montezuma will probably target me at some point in the future because he doesn't like me over religion now. But I uh, I got out of the most key war early on. That would have screwed me up big time. Now war would only screw me up a little bit. And yeah, we'll go ahead and go Lighthouse next. So we picked up our library and to fight off the culture once again, we're just gonna go. We're just we're, the, 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 religious buildings. Code of laws probably isn't that important. Other than that, it leads to civil service, which is very important for me. Oh my God, is that important? We have a great GP farm. That just occurred to me. It actually, occurred to me earlier when I realized I hadn't farmed any great people, which is terrible. But. I don't see a lot of opportunity right now. I'm a little deficient on worker count, although I've been getting by with whipping and just semi-efficient worker management. Semi. No one's going to mistake it for good worker management. Um, the only city that really needs a market is Timbuktu. And I'll go ahead and put it there. I have ivory. So I can get a little bit of happiness from that. Plus it's just a lot of raw commerce in Timbuktu. I have a lot of raw commerce in this city. It is powerful as a research site for bureaucracy. So I'll be taking advantage of the commerce boost there. I'll go ahead and chop the wonder. Up oh, me get another city down here. Man, Louis getting out of control with his stupid culture warring. Alright. All the way for civil the service. The Who's going culture anyway? Uh, Louis does often go for it. It's a little early to tell, but pretty soon it'll become more obvious. Has anyone gone the music route early? Those guys are very typical culture whores. Let's have a little look. He, well, he doesn't have it yet. Um, Mao doesn't have it. Nobody has it yet that I can see. No. I almost want to steer it into somebody not near me. <laughs> I don't want to deal with AP. Or not a uh, AP would be awesome. No, I, d I don't want to deal with Sistine Chapel culture. Man, it doesn't feel like I'm number one in land, but I kind of am, you know. Oh, no, second. Second, although displayed is first. Weird. Don't know what to say to that one. Um, I can get away with whipping a courthouse here. I'm working way too many unimproved tiles. <sighs> and just move around a bit more. Here too. Yeah, I knew it. 
don't have any investment into the temple just yet, so I can wait a turn and then go with this. And hey, I'm getting a revolt. That's rather impressive to me. I was not expecting that. I might be able to cause this city some grief, especially if I do get the Paya. Um, shoot. It went Hindu. I'm going to vote for Louie. He's uh, more likely to be a big problem than Victoria, who's going to get piled for most of the game from the looks of it. But now I'm going to find my one Hindu city and whip out a missionary soonish. Fortunately, I am an organized religion. Start building the buildings for that too. <laughs> so kind of push me towards a culture game, though not really, because th that'll also give me hammers, which are welcome. Very welcome. <laughs> And Louis does win, although my vote makes no difference at all other than who I get Diplo points with, so... Oh well. Um... Okay. Ah, yes. Pawn those great generals. Feudalism is really appealing. If I got my hands on that, I'd be able to defend myself for some time. So I have that to keep in mind as well. And, oh, well, I was going to whip a temple here. You know what, I will, just to overflow it into a courthouse, which I can then whip more easily. And I think it's time to start automating my exploration, because I have most of it done now. Screw trading for the maps, right? And hey, hey, all right. We actually got it here. Oh, they're um, spreading it for me. That's nice of them. And because I'm spiritual, I'll build the temples first. Well, okay, now the uh, missionary here is less of a priority. And I can spend some of my hammers on other investments. Kathy can declare, please, but since she has other enemies, I should be fine. Yeah. Early anti-war is looking good. I don't know why I'm trying to build Parthenon, but if I get it, it'll be good. It'll be nice. No harm there if I do get it. And just keep mining. This city is like not connected directly. It's still connected though, thanks to sailing. Um, I don't think a demand from him would be particularly effective. Is he still plotting war? No, he dropped his war plans. Okay. Steal the trees. Steal the trees while you can. Now I do get beat to the Parthenon. Oh well. Uh, apparently I did get the uh, Paya though. <laughs> it's nasty. <laughs> that is nasty. And I got some fail gold. Awesome. Alright. Yep, got my second border pop there. Now I can compete with Kathy a little bit. Always handy. And I'm actually going to build some Hindu missionaries. I like AP hammers, so go for it. Anything else here needing improvements? Yeah. And next turn I can spread irrigation here, so I'm going to do that also. Yeah, go there. I, I can use some extra culture help there. And temples next, and monasteries. Yeah. I have a nice empire as long as I don't die. The bureaucracy is expanding. Let's see. No. Bureaucracy. She won't talk to me because she's pissy. Well, I did stop trading with her, but that's no reason to get uber pissy. Stupid sandboxing, sandbagging AIs. No. <laughs> They're anything but sandbagging. They are not sandbaggers. AIs just suck. <laughs> to sandbag, you have to kind of be good, and the AI isn't, so... Forget I said that they're sandbaggers. That would be a false accusation. I get accused of sandbagging sometimes. I, uh... Beat a couple people at Cornhole. No, I didn't even beat people at Cornhole. I just did well, surprisingly. 
It's like one of those tailgating games that usually involve drinking alcohol at the same time. I've never played that before, but I've played a lot of sports in my life. It's not like I don't know how to throw something. <laughs> I have decent form for activities like that. And so I did well. And they're like, you're a sandbagger saying so you never played this before. Well, I wasn't lying. I really hadn't. But whatever. I think that's more hustling anyway, because it's not like I played badly on purpose to make people think I was bad either. And that's more uh, an appropriate thing to call sandbagging. It's when you deliberately play badly so people think you're bad and then start playing well afterwards. Um, sometimes with money on the line afterwards. I don't know. Sandbagging and hustling have some overlap. I'm not really sure on the details of one constituting, uh, one being constituted over the other. And love all which so, and shun let's go for education ASAP. I could really some use some unis. Pasted, to be swallowed, and and some I probably to have enough... Oh yeah, I already did revolt into the bureaucracy. Yeah, look at the research right now. 219 return, although it's going to die off once I run out of fail gold. That's still very nice. Very solid. And yeah, you go there next. We're going to drop the skirmishers and start building some longbows. Longbows are nice to have. <laughs> I discovered a source of iron. This is still predominantly Malanese, but he's winning that war. Although I am keeping pretty strong culture pressure there. And yeah, look at that culture. Fighting some culture. And I can farm here now too, which is very nice. The city's actually going to become gr worthwhile gradually. I think I'd invest in more workers by now. But I'm a little lazy for that, I think. But whatever. Um, actually, yeah, you can work. You can make some workers. Just two. I don't need a lot uh, at this point. She'll trade, but she won't talk to me. And unfortunately, that means I can't check her war plot. So hopefully, uh, one of the other AIs declares on her soon. Like Mal. You do that, Mal. Montezuma, I can't really trust to not declare on me. Alright, the Wawada is the only city left where I need a missionary, so I'm going to cut production of them now. And... Yeah, I could hook up the stone. Wouldn't hurt. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, I can even get, um, what's it? Sankor. If I can hook up the stone quickly enough. So get over there and do that. And more culture. Yeah. Anyone got Sistine yet? Not yet, huh? Man, that's a late pyramids. Of course, this this game is kind of a out for blood game, so that's not shocking. He likes hereditary rule also. Fortunately, she didn't settle too close to me, so our culture war isn't bad. We don't have any culture in each other's cities yet, at least. And uh, Timbuktu is just getting out of hand here, which I like a lot. I really like it getting out of hand. I cannot live without culture. Um, man, I've already built my other stuff. Should I build Sankor here? I can get a chop into it too, which wouldn't be bad once I can get the necessary stone hookup. Then I just have to worry about Kathy. Oop, my auto explorer war here finally died. Yeah! <laughs> Unexpected, but nice. I'll take it. <laughs> wow. Just wow. Was not expecting to flip that off of Mao. It's not like I put much effort into it. I guess I built a wonder in his face, which makes a difference. But it's not one of those things that you uh, really expect to work out too well. And yeah, I built another Hindu missionary. Might as well. I'm up to seven cities now. Timbuktu is that done. Yeah, why not? We'll build a courthouse also. It's continuing to grow. I think it's time to start farming. And we'll get a quarry now. Okay. 
So Sankor is in place, and hey, he did get the Colossus. How about that? <laughs> Watch me not care. I ain't got some time. It's good. Colossus on Pangea is not the most important thing. It's still useful, don't get me wrong, but it's not priority. It's not what you really need. So get some farms going here. Yeah, this city is alright too. Could just build wealth until it's time for universities. I think I'm going to do that. Go ahead and chop this. Um, this city is less dependent on culture, so... Oh, maybe a barracks and some defensive units. Uh, <laughs> this is one of the few cities other than my capital that isn't culture-pressed at all. And I've been really going all out to win these culture wars. A little bit of you got served. Oh man, what just happened? Okay, it's just a dog pile by two of the sibs on Vicky. So what are your war plans, Monty? It's been ten turns and two fodder, so I should be alright overall. Oh, that's going to buy me time. So much time. That is tempting. That is very tempting. He has a lot of gold. And you know what? That's fine. I don't even care if I get a spy. I just want a great person. <laughs> It'd be about time. Just like that. And actually, you snipe that because you can benefit from a lighthouse. Do I want to sell that to him with University of Sankor out in the, uh, on the table still? I really don't. I really don't. Although that money is so appealing. It'd be like instant lib race and deficit all the way to lib. That's no joke. Alright. Keep the farming. I guess I should build Maui statues. I do have a stone, and this is <laughs> one of the only cities I have that can make use of them even decently. And that's rare enough on Pangea. I might as well. Now. I don't need to hold out long before I'd be guaranteed to beat him. Does he have stone? Now. Okay. Well, in that case. What will you give me for this? <laughs> I just can't pass that up. It's too strong. It's too good. Too good to pass that up. Who else is willing to trade with me right now? Butchin's willing to trade with me. I'll trade him uh, for metal casting. I still want to get universities up first so I can get Oxford, which is boosted by stone. That would be very strong. And then I um, probably want to farm some gold off of Kathy too. But I want to make sure she doesn't have the stone either. And she does, so I'm going to want to hold off onto that until later. Unless someone else trades it to her, but whatever. If that happens, it happens. I have a feeling the AIs are going to get greedy grubby though and not want to trade uh, that technology around because they'll be building the wonder themselves. <laughs> Well, we can start on a mint here. I won't finish that. Oh, maybe I will finish that. Alright, fine. And I can farm this, too. Man, that's so good. That's so much money. It's like 10 turns of 312 beakers a turn. Wow, the mints are coming up nicely. I guess that's because of organized religion plus AP buildings. Is normally Mansa Musa isn't uh, able to milk that very well. So sure, we'll even build a mint here because I'm going to be slower in these tertiary cities that I made later. Uh oh. Really? Ah, uh, he's going to cap her. Oh, that sucks. Although it'll probably put him at odds with Montezuma. Or Montezuma at odds with him, but oh my god. London fell. There is no wealth like knowledge. Yeesh. No poverty like ignorance. Well, I know I don't want to take on right away. Alright, I have education. Which means basically to spam out universities ASAP 
in my cities and try to set up Oxford. If I can get a fast Oxford, I'll be in awesome shape. And yeah, I'm even going to build a university first in that city before the mint. And yeah, I'll whip for it a little bit. Oh man, this has got a long way to go. It's whatever. Wasn't really expecting to get Jute anyway. Jute's a good city though, actually. Oh, it's not great, but I picked up wine by that. In fact, um, what are my active resources? Uh, was I trading for wine? Oh, I guess it was cancelled when I flipped the tile. Okay. Whatever. And yeah, now I'm so close to the University of Sancor that she's not going to get it. And I want more money, so I'll take her money and whatever she will give me. Horseback riding? Nah. You don't need that. And I do wind up trading for a map anyway, but okay. Still good to get our bearings early on, trust me. Trust me, I'm a specialist. Specialist Econ with Manny Musa, not really. <laughs> Definitely, well, I mean, I only have cottages in one city. Call us whatever you want to. <laughs> Sankor will bring my beakers up. Now with deficit spending, I'm right around 350, one less than that. Probably be good to put a farm here and finally get a six food corn pile. And sure enough, capitulation to Mal Zedong. Taking a capital is just but like that. And I do get a spy. What others do only from I was kidding, game. You could have given me a scientist. Or a priest. Either one would have been better. Well, that might not be true. The live race is in the bag here. Um, I might sit on this spy and focus my espionage on somebody and steal some technology. It would be pretty do effective to do it. Maybe from Kathy. How's her tech looking? She's not bad. Uh, Louis actually a little bit further in front. And I probably have culture in tour. Okay, fine. We'll focus espionage on Louis and steal some tech from him. Why not? <laughs> if I'm going to get a great spy, I might as well catch up in tech that way. And that means that I'm going to want to produce some spies. This city, well, this city is running great people, but it doesn't have to do that. It can go hammers. Whatever. Whatever city uh, finishes with the universities first, we'll transition over to spies. And sure, we'll sign open borders again. This will be a fun loop to get stuck in. Yeah, look at that. 33% Malanese, 21% Russian. I am beating a creative civilization without creative in the culture war. And I'm also doing that here. 20% and 39%. And, well, this one's... I actually don't think I ever got a wonder here. Oh, no, I did. I got Sankor, but that's just recently. But it's just the emphasis on the religious buildings. Um, eventually, culture just can't keep up with it. Or uh, the creative trait can't keep up with it. Um, she's really falling behind. But she's a vassal state now. Okay, well, let's block a backstab from you. And you are at friendly. I don't need to worry about a backstab from you. <laughs> okay, fine. Doesn't hurt to get the money either, honestly. So, I'm pretty well immune to war for 10 turns. And despite... Well, now, now Mao is not. Because even though people like him, they're friendly to him, they're annoyed towards... Vicky. And that's going to average. Friendly will average to uh, cautious because it's rounded down. And if they are only cautious with Mal, like Montezuma, and then annoyed here, he's annoyed to both. So, there you go. Um, unfortunately, the others... It's a little bit more friendly game than I was expecting. Who would I target first? Um, maybe Louie? Or I could just go left <laughs> and betray the people who have been nicest to me this game. That's a possibility as well. And yeah, a little bit of emphasis on culture. I do have the land area. Um, only China ahead of me. And China being ahead of me makes sense. Love the scouting. Yeah, look at this. This is horse crap. Yeah, if the human spawns in this situation, no copper even, so you couldn't do a phallic symbol rush. Not even iron for him. I could roll him very easily, even with medieval stuff. He has nothing! Is he being traded anything? 
<laughs> oh, stoned Alexander for sheep. That's a little odd. But, uh, he didn't build the wanderer. But, yeah, no strategic resources aside from horse. And he used two horses. He could trade a horse for another strategic resource. And that kind of trade wouldn't annoy me as much as, like, incense for horse. Because there are, there should be an AI out there somewhere that could use it. Now everyone has it. In including me, actually. Or no, I don't have horse. So I could reasonably be expected to trade him for horse, but whatever. And as you can see, lib is no thing here. We are not going to have trouble getting liberalism at all. <laughs> no one has education. Whip. And yeah, most of these are finishing universities around the same time, so I'm not going to crush my pop to get them out a little sooner. No need to trade maps with you. Oh, a border pop in this city. That is huge. That's going to make a difference. Does he have his border pop yet? I can't tell. Yeah, he does. So he's fighting me pretty well now with this. Although, uh, that border pop will make a difference. So I'm going to fortify there, whatever. Um, what do I want to lib? I could hold off on libbing anything. Because the AI aren't near it. And I might be able to pull off something crazy if I can get a spy mission going. So, what I think I'm going to do is get, like, within a sliver of lib. And then, uh... Research down a different path. See what I can grab. Kathy is pretty much everything. I think this might turn into one of those with cannons you can maps. What do I need for that? It's possible. Well, at least give it a shot. If I can't live steel, I can't, but um, it's worth a try. Although I wish I could be stealing these techs right now. Actually, why don't I just bank a little bit for that matter? could give me a little bit of an edge and then I can steal some things and then deficit research might, might give me what I need and you actually finish first so okay oh no but I want Oxford well I can I can squeeze some spies out before Oxford though a lot of my cities are not really ready for contributing to that yet but alright, um, that's pretty good for timing for now. Um, I'll see you guys in the next part where I'm going to try and pick off the lib race and get something pretty good for it, hopefully. And um, to see about how we're going to go about dominating this map. So until then, thumbs up if you like the video. The Mean Team signing off.